the great Atari 2600 library. Uh, it's difficult to cover the wide range of Atari games, but I'm going to give a snapshot to give fellow collectors and people interested in collecting uh, the 2600 um, <clears throat> a good overview of what to collect, what to look out for, and what's great to play. Early Atari 2600 games uh, were, uh, the, the first nine were gatefold. That meant that uh, they had this uh, flap. They they came very uh, um, stylized, very 70s style, and uh, had a number on the on the front of the Atari 2600 labels. Now this is kind of a standard uh, cart, and here are some uh, games to look out for. So the two that I have boxed are Combat and Video Olympics. Uh, awesome games, Combat, one of the greatest uh, simplistic two-player Atari 2600 games. Video Olympics, which is pretty much Pong on the 2600. Amazing game. Love it. Get it. Uh, early Atari 2600 boxes were multi uh, were um, colored, uh, rainbow colored, d different colors for, for different types of games. Uh, two, uh, some of the early ones I recommend are Adventure. Uh, definitely a um, uh, precursor to Zelda and um, an adaptation of a text adventure game. Missile Command, um, a great arcade conversion. Warlords, uh, an awesome paddle game. Uh, one of the best, uh, one of my favorite on the systems. Berserk, uh, again a, a great uh, arcade adaptation. Phoenix, uh, this game I actually like better than the game Demon Attack. And again, this shows uh, some of the uh, different box variations Atari did. These are the silver box games. Uh, these came out in the uh, early 80s and uh, were my favorite type of box. Joust, another great two-player uh, game for the 2600. Again, all these games are fairly affordable. Later released Atari box games. Uh, these came out in the late 80s. Uh, Gravatar and Junior Pac-Man, the best of the, the Pac-Mans. Uh, it often gets overlooked too. It's a late release and uh, wonderful. Yeah, Gravatar, one of, uh, again, doesn't have the vector graphics, but an amazing port. One of my, one of my favorite on the systems. Uh, Activision made several amazing uh, gameplay and graphic style games. My two favorite are River Raid and Pitfall. Uh, my Pitfall has been signed by uh, David Crane. And um, again, uh, like I said, wonderful, wonderful, um, uh, high quality games. And if you go cartridge only, very inexpensive. Now, some of the more uncommon stuff that uh, I have uh, some examples of some uncommon games and to show the wide diversity of how Atari cartridges look. Uh, Zonix usually made double ender games, but they, they did do some single cartridge games. Uh, Tomar the Barbarian is a, a, a box um, version. This is pretty hard to get. Uh, Room of Doom, uh, one of the more um, common, common vid games, but uh, still pretty hard to get, especially boxed. Um, the box is not even the same size as other 2600 games. It's a little shorter. Uh, this is a great game, Mega Force. Uh, again, it's a great uh, <laughs> adaptation of a terrible movie, but a lot of fun to play. Uh, fun box, and um, this is a kind of an unsung hero. It's uh, Frogs and Flies. This is actually a more common game, but the M Network games. Uh, they look really look strange. They're pretty much in a, they they look like an Intellivision cartridge with an adapter at the end. And Frogs and Flies is a great two player game. Great to run a tournament on. Uh, Tiger Vision boxes uh, again are really uh, colorful, and uh, this is kind of a uh, a game close to the game Berserk. A little bit different, uh, uncommon to get. Uh, these these are just wonderful examples of just kind of different box instructions. Now, again, many other games to show. Uh, Telegames had a whole line of Atari cartridges that were um, uh, they had different they had text and picture labels. Uh, the picture ones are a little bit more uncommon to get. Uh, these are some other games that um, uh, the Telegames made. 
Outer Space, Space Invaders, Arcade Pinball, Speedway 2, Maze. Um, these are examples of some other games that I recommend that aren't too uh, expensive. Jungle Hunt, Mario Brothers. Mario Brothers is a great arcade adaptation of the original, and it's pretty good on the 2600. Uh, this is an uncommon game, but a lot of fun to play, especially if you have the track and field controller to go with it, which I'll show in the accessories. A lot of fun. Check it out. Uh, Pengo, uh, again, a, a late release uh, Atari game. A lot of fun. Millipede. Venture. Now, these are the red label games, and again, this is just kind of what the cartridges look like. Venture, Midnight Magic. Defender 2, a great, great game. Uh, Secret Quest. This is kind of an unusual game. Done by, um, like I said, it's, uh, uh, I do believe, as a, a password feature, one of the only uh, Atari 2600 games to have that. Solaris, which is a great game that kind of gets often, often overlooked. Yars Revenge, again, another classic for 2600. This is the uncommon red label version. And Qbert. Uh, there was a Parker Brothers version. This is the Red Label version. Kind of hard to get. Another. All these games are classic uh, 2600 games. Some other games that are uh, just to show some of the cartridge variations. This is uh, an Activision Ghostbusters, Commando, Spy Hunter. These are uh, again. Uh, this is the uh, Activision, and this is uh, Bally Midway. Um, like I said, uh, these are these are great arcade ports that, that were well done on the 2600. Atlantis, uh, very common, uh, pretty easy to get, a lot of fun. Solar Fox, um, yeah, it's kind of a kind of a Pac-Man style game, um, a lot of fun to play. Up and Down, Sega, Guardian, it's a very uncommon uh, paddle game, uh, a lot of fun. Tax Avoiders. This is just kind of a kind of unusual. It has like the Sega style cartridge. Um, it's just bizarre. Here's some more uncommon uh, Tiger Vision carts. Tiger Vision carts are very shiny. Uh, this is Polaris with the green end label. Minor 2049er Volume Two. Uncommon to get. But you know these are just a small sat snapshot of the hundreds of 2600 games you can get and I'm just showcasing some of the ones that are either interesting or you know uh, worth collecting but the true strength of the 2600 is what are called homebrews and hacks and these games are games that programmers have made themselves or taking original code and adapted it now some of the uh, some of the early this is an early one this is done uh, in the mid 90s was Tetris one of the first uh, one of the first homebrews made and um, obviously primitive label and stuff but they but on Atari age there are amazing uh, these are a couple a couple different games that have been uh, this is Berserk with voice enhanced it's awesome it, it is an amazing version Pac Man Arcade now. People that hate the Pac-Man version uh, on Atari ought to get this because it actually looks like Pac-Man Arcade. It's amazing. Um, this one's gotten a lot of um, popularity recently. This is released uh, last year, Halo 2600, and it's a great game on itself. And um, and like I said, it's uh, it's worth checking out. Uh, this is a great puzzle game, Chunk Out 2600. It was at our previous show. Medieval Mayhem. This is a, a Warlords enhancement. This uh, game uh, is a better version of Warlords, and it, it's it's a lot of fun to play. Ladybug, uh, an obscure arcade game and ColecoVision game, and it was con it converted and it plays it is amazingly fast, a lot of fun. Check it out. Gingerbread Man. Uh, this is uh, again another one of our show exclusives, but you can get this on Atari Age. Like many of these, actually, you can get on Atari Age when the soars up. Um, Incoming. This is a version of Artillery Duel that's better. And Dungeon. This is kind of like a rogue style um, action RPG. Again, um, that is it, pretty much. And thank you for looking at this.